Hello, my friends. Welcome to another episode of Going Deep in True Crime. I'm Manny Rodriguez, your host. And in today's video, I want to share with you the top 10 true crime TikTok channels that you should follow in 2021. And this list most likely will change year after year. This is one of the fastest growing platforms. This social media platform is, is, has one of the most gaining momentums out there. And so I anticipate year after year, this may change. Some will stay the same. There are some up and coming YouTubers and these top 10 that I share all have channels with 2 million likes or more. And that's what I based a lot of this on were how many likes are they getting to their channel. And there are a lot. There were a few with millions of views and millions of followers, but I made sure that at the minimum they had at least 2 million likes. And so that's exactly what I want to share with you today are what are those top 10 channels you should be following. Number 10. This is True Crime Layla. True Crime Layla. So True Crime Layla is a very popular channel as you can tell. She has over 2 million likes, almost 150,000 followers. She's definitely someone to watch out for. She's quickly climbing that channel. Her channel is all about true crime and she's a Virgo. I'm a Virgo. I had to call that out. And so she does different things. She has videos on a whole bunch of different crimes that have occurred. So she's definitely someone to follow and share if you're a true crime lover. If you love to follow true crime, you will find a bunch on this channel. That's number 10. Moving on to number nine. Number nine is True Crime Talk. As you can see about their channel, it's all about true crime facts and information that they share with you. Here's a little rundown. If you could interview a serial killer, who would it be and why? And she's got a bunch of comments on that one. And she hashtag Richard Ramirez, Jeffrey Dahma, Ted Bundy, what serial killers were looking for in a victim. And she shares Ted Bundy, who he was looking for. American Horror Story characters based on real people. Bedrooms I'd give to serial killers. Killers who were cannibals. That's number nine with 2.4 million likes and almost 73,000 followers. Definitely someone to watch as they're up and coming. That is number nine on our top 10 list. Moving on to number eight. Number eight is Karina Michelle, focused on daily true crime minisodes. Get it? Like episodes, mini episodes. She made it to the true crime scene, true crime side of TikTok, request a case or hear the podcast below. You can click on that. Let's take a little rundown on some of her stuff. And so this one here, Bianca's Law, The Birdman of Alcatraz, The Insane Story of the Birdman of Alcatraz, a new project for with Chris Hansen and Seth Francois. The case of Lisa McVeigh. So she's at 2.7 million likes and growing. 201,000 followers. Karina Michelle is definitely someone to watch. That is number eight on our top 10 TikTok channel around true crime. Number seven is summer summer produces the this channel as well curious true crime basically if you're curious about the different true crimes she covers a lot with 150,000 followers almost 151,000 followers and over 3 million likes you know this young lady is on her way up 
She focuses on conspiracies, famous deaths, and true crime. Last words of death row inmates. She does quite a bit of that. Strangest deaths to occur. Famous last words. Top three famous last words. And she does a lot of famous last words. So people must really like a lot of that type of stuff. And she talks about Stephanie Adams, murders her son, then kills herself at a hotel. The disappearance of Maura Murray, the curse of the Glee Club. So she does a lot of things around that, facts around about Ted Bundy. Summer is definitely one to watch as she is on the rise. She rounds up number seven. Number six is True Crime Daily UK. You can find them at True Crime Daily UK underscore. She has close to four million likes and almost 300,000 followers. True Crime Junkie is also another name it goes by. Videos posted every single day. No bullying, I can appreciate that. This is some of what her channel's about. Friends nearly drown after flood waters fill up elevator. An inside edition thing that she's sharing. Skip, that's sensitive content. Some people may find this video disturbing. British troops fighting alongside the ANP. British, British troops fighting alongside so she's doing a lot of UK stuff, obviously. That's why the channel is called that. So if this seems like your, your thing, check out True Crime Daily UK underscore to follow their channel. And they round out number six. Rounding out the top five is number five with True Crime Junkies. That's the username with three S's at the end. Inside the mind of killers. So they like to get a little deep into sharing why things are happening. So they describe their channel as, consider this a portal into the true crime community for chat and share views. We'll share a little of what they got going on here. Looks like a, a lot of content from news outlets. This is a serial killer story they've labeled this one as. She was only 13 years old. I'm sure there's a lot more to that story, obviously. Jealousy, female serial killers. This is a this is labeled around female serial killers. So she must have a bunch of topics around that. Topics around self-defense. I can appreciate that. More self-defense. True crime story, unsolved Delphi murders. When the dad shot the rapist who hurt his daughter right out of the airport if that's the type of stuff you like to follow as you can see they're well on their way 3.8 million likes and 277,000 followers almost definitely one to watch as she is as they are raising their i noticed that most of these are women who do these stories in particular definitely someone to follow if that is something that sounds like it interests you number Four. Number four is conspiracy and true crime. The username conspiracy T crime time is where you want to check them out. Their intro shares conspiracy and true crime is what they're really based on. She, they're a 90s to 2000 babies. Thank you for 900,000 followers. As you can see, they're close to they're getting close to a million followers. Way to go there. 13.4 million likes definitely a huge following let's share a little clones have been in front of our faces the entire time online poker dealer collapses out of nowhere during live poker surveillance footage shows cassie joe started the morning of september 22nd 2006 tiktok dancer interrupted by terrifying apartment intruder that would be pretty scary huh the terrifying story of YouTuber Kate Yup. So sharing a bunch of different stories and it's definitely along the lines of being a little different. You, as you can tell, you know, a lot of this that I went through, Ted Bundy, Ted Bundy, right? But you wanna see something different. And of course, nothing against the, the Ted Bundy crowd that wants to share a lot. And so this is the terrifying story of YouTuber Kate Yup on this channel. Couple different parts. 
around Kate. Yup. With close to with over 13 million likes, definitely someone to follow. Now we're down to our top three. And again, I based all of these based on who had the most likes to their channel. Okay? Not necessarily the most followers, but the most likes. Because in my opinion, if they're getting a lot of likes, they must have something good going there, right? They can't have that many l people that just want to do it to support. So they must have something great going on. Jackie, username True Crime All The Time, almost 14 million likes, almost 580,000 followers. Moving up that chart. This is... You made it to the true crime TikTok, YouTube coming soon. Menendez supporter. So she must be a fan of Menendez. And obviously their story is they were abused by their family. And that's why they did what they did. Most people believe they did it for the money. But maybe Jackie doesn't believe that. This is some of her channel. Reposting since the sound was taken down. Photos with disturbing backstories. So disturbing. Jim Carrey, the Stanley Hotel, what happened to Jim Carrey, what hubby caught on camera today, that must be something a little local, I guess some squirrels fighting, that's kind of funny, Conjuring behind the scenes, that's a little about the movie, behind the scenes of the movie Conjuring, me loving true crime and unsolved mysteries, I have to say, I've never really been a big fan of, of unsolved mysteries, simply because I want happy endings. Now granted, the, tr the crime itself is a very sad story, but when the in the end, when they get the, the bad guy, that turns things around a little bit. It's worse when it's just unsolved. To me, that's the worst. Granted, there's never a real happy ending, but it's, it's at least for me doable. I'll watch it if I know there's a good ending and they found them and how they found them. Otherwise, I'm not really that interested if it if it's not solved. I, I want to help find the what's not solved, but that that's kind of where I love to get into investigation, right? To to follow and find, but unsolved mysteries I just never could get into it because I want happy endings or at least problem solved, should I say? So Jackie definitely someone sharing a lot of what's going on, the John Bonet story there, doing a lot with it. So definitely, definitely check Jackie out. True crime all the time. Great job, Jackie. At number two, the top two, here we go. Of all of these, this is on, the only one with a male leading it that I found. Now, some, maybe I missed one, you know, and didn't really pay attention to the actual video and the voices and who's talking about it. But this is the one that was clearly a guy is leading this channel. And out of 10, you know, at least he's super high to give some cred to guys doing this, right? But otherwise, even on YouTube, it's mostly women who are dominating this space of sharing. I'm a guy though, so I'm now joining the guy club because <laughs> I have a YouTube channel, which is what you're watching this on. So Mikey's Crimer Crew, he is... Almost up to 18 million likes, over 1 million followers at 1.4. So he's almost at 1.5 million followers and growing every single day. This is why I say this is only for 2021. I'll do another one in 2022, you know, to see if this list has changed any. This channel is true crime, dark humor, graphic content. He must be 36 years old, living in Arizona. And so he makes it very clear, dark humor. If you're not a fan of dark humor around true crime, this channel will not be for you. You can clearly see he has a lot of followers and a lot of likes to his channel. Worst deaths imaginable, imaginable backup bonus episode number two, reposting from the backup page. I'm not familiar, maybe you are reposting from my second account maybe he must have lost an account reposting from his backup page apparently at a page that he had to either close down and uh, start a new one sometimes when you violate their terms those are what the consequences that you have to go through his backup page may mean you might have already seen it this is the case of philip markoff the craigslist killer 
the case of the eyeball killer in the case of michael mcdermott great to see a guy out there doing some true crime stuff love it love it check out mikey's crimer er crew at making a true crimer er he rounds out the top two who is number Number one and very popular, True Crime Cam. So, a YouTube channel run by Cam. She goes by she or they. YouTube below if you want to follow her YouTube channel. You can find her at True Crime Cam on YouTube. Her topics include torture, death row per state, last words, cult talk, massacre serial killers death row give you a little glimpse inside her channel she does a lot in red this one is based on mariam abdulrab of Atlanta. angela tramonte of massachusetts a case she can't get over so many things fell into place the detective described it as the perfect storm Number one is green screen effect here. The model who killed and ate her husband. Whoa. Definitely check this one out. This one she shares a little on A&E as her background. Josephine denied any involvement with voodoo or witchcraft. That is true crime cam. I love how she focuses completely on the dark look she has so much red which obviously red is based around crime slash blood and so she she is really fit in that part 1.2 million followers and growing now if you notice she didn't have the most followers on our list but she had the most likes on the list by quite a bit actually she had so many more likes compared to even number two Number two on the list, which was the gentleman making a true crimer, -er, he had 1.4 million followers, but less than 18 million likes. So Cam is really rocking it, doing great things and keeping people updated on a lot of the true crimes out there. Definitely one to watch. Congratulations on dominating TikTok this year in 2021 cam keep up the great work and my friends thank you for following this is another episode of going deep in true crime if you have any particular case requests or any top tens twitter TikTok, instagram any top 10 requests let me know in the comments below i'm happy to share with you and my friends smash that subscribe button that way you get notified whenever i go live or whenever i upload content and you'll know right away hey manny's got a new thing let's go check out going deep in true crime i'm manny rodriguez and i look forward to sharing another case with you in this upcoming week and it's a doozy, my friends. One that I'm surprised more people don't talk about. And he is responsible for over 100 deaths. But he wasn't convicted for over 100 deaths. Stay tuned till the next episode. I'll talk to you later. Peace.